This ceremony is a symbol of how far you've come together. The promises that you will make signify that you want to spend your lives together. These promises are promises of irrevocable love, it's a promise, it's a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other, which takes a lifetime. It is here. Where has the time gone? I cannot wait to see you at the altar today and start the rest of our lives together. I cannot wait to have your children and watch you as a father. I wish your father was here. I have no doubt that he would be the most proud man in the world. I know I, I know I am proud of you. A reading from the first Corinthians chapter 13 says, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, it rejoices in truth, and it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. The day has come where I make an honest woman out of you, and you make an honest man out of me. You're my best friend, my one and only. Is it wrong to think that my dad said you to me? You two would have gotten along so well, and I know he would have loved you, and then he approves. So will you marry me? If so, let's get this party started. Will you, Chris, keep Alicia as your best friend in life, to laugh with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find a new reason to love her every day? I do. Will you, Alicia, keep Chris as your best friend in life, to laugh with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find a new reason to love him every day? Mm -hmm. As you guys have announced the truths that are now written in your hearts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Gentlemen, this is Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Lord, we ask that you bless Chris and Alicia as they start their journey together. 
Help them to be each other's strength, comfort, and happiness. We ask that you bless them with a life of joy. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.